Hey you guys, it's Mark here once again for Diet.com video and today we're going to take a look at one of my favorite tools in the gym, the kettlebell. We've got a few different exercises we're going to take a look at today. So I'm going to have my friend Jeff demonstrate. The first one is going to be a goblet squat. So Jeff, I'm going to have you hold it in the goblet position, just like so. He's got it nice and tight in his hands. The kettlebell is close to his upper chest. And we're going to come down into a squat and Jeff, why don't you show us a few reps. Very nice. So just like a typical squat, as you come down, you want to make sure your knee is in line with your foot, chest is high, shoulders are back. If we take a look from the side, Jeff, I'll have you turn 90 degrees, go ahead. He's sitting his hips down and back, and his spine is staying neutral throughout the whole movement. That's a good looking squat. All right. So the second exercise we're going to take a look at is a kettlebell swing. So with a squat, we really want to get more of a vertical movement of the hips. With a kettlebell swing, it's more of a horizontal back and forward movement. So most of the work is coming from this hip joint. What we don't want to have happen is a rounded back as we come down. Make sure it's nice and neutral as we push our hips behind us. All right, Jeff, let's see a couple reps here. Excellent. So the arms aren't doing much work other than holding on to the kettlebell. Don't worry about how high it goes. We want the hips to be doing the work, not the arms and shoulders. Very nice, Jeff. Why don't you turn 90 degrees, give us a side view. Good. Get a few more reps here. So as you can see, he's pulling his hips back and then pushing them forward. Hips are the driver. His spine is staying nice and straight. Jeff, the only thing I want you to do is keep your chin tucked as you go down. Excellent. So that's how we do a kettlebell swing. Nice job, Jeff. And the last one we'll take a look at is an exercise for the upper body. We'll do a kettlebell row. All right. So Jeff, I'm going to have you start facing the mirror. Let's do a little staggered stance. We'll get your right foot back and your left foot forward. And we're coming down almost parallel to the ground. You don't have to be completely parallel. You can have a, a chest a little bit higher. And go ahead, go into a row. Nice. So what Jeff's focusing on is wrapping his shoulder around his back. Don't worry too much about the elbow height. Focus more on that shoulder and get a good contraction for your upper back. Okay, let's do two more. Excellent. And bring it down. All right. So we have our goblet squats, our kettlebell swings, and our single arm rows with the kettlebell. Those are three great exercises you can use for strength or a little bit of conditioning. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. We have much more coming from diet.com video.